Good morning class, and welcome to Obscure Superhero Team Ops 101. My name is Andy, and I'll be your lecturer today. Everybody keep pen and paper handy, and we'll begin. And I want to see everybody making a lot of notes, because there's going to be a quiz on this next period, and it will count towards your final grades. Okay? Let's go. Back in the 1980s, King Feature Syndicates created a team of superheroes comprising several of its various intellectual properties. The team was called the Defenders of the Earth, and comprised of Flash Gordon, the Phantom, Mandrake the Magician, and Lothar, who was originally Mandrake's lackey, but who got promoted to make the team less... you know, endorsing the slave trade. In order to make the team more kid-friendly and give it a universal appeal, King Features also introduced a new generation of characters. They introduced Rick Gordon, Lothar Jr., and Jeddah... Ghost Who Walks. Mandrake didn't have a child of his own, but he did adopt an orphan from China, whose name was Kishin. And if you want to make a Gazun-type joke right about now, then, well, you're more than welcome to, because I'm not going to. I am 83% sure that that's racist. The Defenders of the Earth began as a cartoon show, which then went on to become published in comic form. And this is the exact opposite from most King Features uh, properties, like Beetle Bailey, Hagar the Horrible, and so on. At the height of their popularity, the Defenders also got their own video game, which was released for the CPC. And this is what we're going to look at today. The game was released in 1990 by Enigma Variations, and it's sort of a prototype run-and-gun, which is an amazing feat for the Amstrad. The plot of the game is the same as the show. The same as every single freaking episode of the show. Ming the Merciless has kidnapped the children of the Defenders and is holding them prisoner. Unless the world leaders surrender their power to him, he's threatening to... Um, keep holding the kids prisoner, I guess. They, they don't really explain it in the game. Ming's shenanigans present a serious problem for the world's leaders, since they generally don't negotiate with terrorists, so they just sort of palm the problem off on the Defenders of the Earth. Trouble is, the Defenders of the Earth don't really negotiate with terrorists either. But do you know what they do do? They send in Flash Gordon to kick some ass, that's what they do. And it's a good thing too, because negotiations would make a pretty lousy video game. So yeah, you play Flash Gordon for this one. The other Defenders aren't ignored, however. Not the popular ones, anyway. Every so often you'll come across an obstacle you can't overcome yourself, and when this happens, you can call on one of the other Defenders to help you. You can summon the three core members of the Defenders, Mandrake, Lothar, and Phantom, and you can also summon Zuffy, who is the token supposed to be cute but is actually a really irritating animal character. Each Defender does something related to their powers within the TV show. Lothar tears down the steel doors, Mandrake creates magical bridges that only you can cross, Zuffy tampers with electronics, thus shutting down force fields, and the Phantom can... unlock the, the red doors. Yeah, I think they ran out of stuff when they programmed the Phantom, so he just got stuck with whatever was left. But that's not the problem I have with the door system. My problem is that, as clever as this system is, it automatically picks the right defender for the job. You just press the button and whoever you need to call, gets called and does their thing. As such, the obstacles only serve the purpose of slowing you down and draining your health, rather than making you think or anything like that. I suppose in a run and gun you don't really want to think all that much, but... I don't know. Couldn't hurt. Anyhow, as well as the heroes making an appearance, the show's enemies turn up too. The boss of level 1 is Octon, a giant mechanical spider, and the boss of level 2 is the dragon that Ming had, whose name I'm pretending I forgot so it doesn't look like I have an encyclopedic knowledge of retro cartoons and wrote the script for today's show entirely from memory. And the boss of level 3 is Ming. Well, I say level 3. The game build itself as having 3 levels. In actuality, the game has one level, which is split into 3 parts. And actually that's a bit of a letdown, if I'm honest. It's kind of like playing Mega Man, only you start at Wily's castle. But even then, that's not enough to detract from the game, because each stage is very hard, and you'll be lucky to make it past Octon without cheating. Which I do at every possible opportunity, because cheating is cool. Adding to the game's difficulty is the fact that, unlike many other games on the CPC, this one is very fast-paced. Seriously, it runs so fast you'd expect to see it leaving twin trails of fire as it goes. And this is both a good, and a bad thing. On the one hand, it's refreshing to have a frantic game when so many other CPC games crawl. On the other, you have to have a reaction time of about half a second before you lose your health and die horribly. Difficulty aside, the only real letdown is the fact that there's no in-game music. But you know what makes up for that? On the title screen, you get a chiptune version of the Defenders of the Earth theme tune. 
only it's extended and it's remixed and it rocks your face even harder than the original one did, which is no easy feat given that the original Defenders of the Earth theme tune was early 80s synth metal. Overall, I would recommend Defenders of the Earth, but only if you can find some cheat codes to go with it that will buff up your health. It's only got one or two minor nags, but they're paltry compared to just how amazing the game is, especially given the technical limitations of the console it was running on. In fact, I'm going to go and play it right now. And by play it, I mean load it and then leave it on the title screen so I can scream the lyrics out like Larry Palaroncini. So until next time, class dismissed. <laughs>